Hi there, this is Abhinav. Welcome back to Crescent Arts. In the previous video, we have seen the section 1 of Flutter course, that is, introduction part. And in this video, let us see section 2, that is, what is Flutter. Before going into our topic, if you haven't seen my previous video, please do watch it and come back to this video again. I will leave a link in the description below and also a link in the info cards on the right corner. Let us now get into our topic. So, what is Flutter? Flutter is a tool that allows you to build native cross-platform applications, that is, iOS and Android, with one programming language and code base. That's really cool, isn't it? Let us now modulate this sentence and understand it in a better way. Our first keyword is tool. So, let us now learn what a tool is. A programming tool or software development tool used to create, debug, maintain or otherwise support other programs and applications. Now let us move to our second keyword that is native cross-platform applications. We are not building any web applications. We are going to build two different kinds of applications at the end for iOS and for Android which we then distribute through different stores that is App Store for iOS and Play Store for Android. Let us now move to our third keyword that is one programming language. Flutter helps us to build these cross-platform applications using one programming language so that we don't have to learn two different languages one for iOS and one for Android. This single programming language is called as Dart. If not Flutter, we, know, we need to learn so many different kinds of environment as well as languages to, different, to develop different kinds of applications. For example, let us take an iOS application. We will use iOS development environment that is Xcode and on the other hand for programming languages we use either Shift or Objective-C whereas coming to Android we will use either Java or Kotlin in Android development environment that is Android Studio. Now let us move to our fourth and final keyword that is code base. We use only one code base so we work in one project. We write our code once and we still get two different applications as an output. If you want if you want to build an application without Flutter, you have to learn two different programming languages and two different environments for iOS and Android. As we discussed just now, we use Shifter object to see in iOS development environment for Xcode, whereas for Android we will use Java or Kotlin in Android development environment that is Android Studio. In Flutter, we just need only one code base. Now let us summarize what is Flutter. These are the keywords which define what is Flutter. Flutter on the other hand, it refers to two major terms. One is SDK and the other one is widgets. Let us now learn these one by one. Firstly, what is SDK? SDK means Software Development Kit. We can also refer to it as a collection of tools that allows us to write one code base with one programming language because it includes compiling the code which wouldn't generally run on iOS or Android into native machine code that does run on these platforms because if there would be one programming language that would work on both platforms we might not need Flutter but unfortunately there isn't one. Thus, the programming language Flutter uses does not work on iOS and Android, so it needs to be compiled into native machine code for both iOS and Android, so that we have two codes that would run on both the platforms. Simply saying, SDK behaves like a translator. So, let us now summarize SDK. SDK, Software Development Kit and it is a collection of tools to compile your code into native machine code simply saying it acts as a translator with development with ease okay now let us move to the second keyword that is widget besides flutter is not only a set of tools it also gives everything a developer needs to create magnificent apps it gives us a framework on the other hand you can also call it as a widget library which is very very useful for that one programming language dot. It also gives us a vast collection of reusable UI building blocks also known as widgets. 
widgets come out of the box where developers can style them, customize them as well as use them to build your app. Let us now summarize what is widget. It refers to a framework or widget library which generally means reusable UI building blocks, utility functions or packages. Now let us move forward and know what a dart is. As we already saw, Flutter uses a programming language called Dart. Dart is a programming language which is focused on building front-end user interfaces, front-end applications. It is not limited to build mobile applications. That's just what Flutter uses it for. But Dart is independent of Flutter and we can also build web applications with Dart. It is a programming language which was developed by Google, just like Flutter. So basically, these two are independent teams in Google. It is object oriented and strongly typed. And its syntax is like a mixture of JavaScript, Java and C Sharp. So let us move ahead and see this flowchart. With this flowchart, we can clearly understand that Flutter framework lies above Dart. That is, Flutter framework is a set of features which contains Flutter as well as Dart where Dart is a programming language. On the other hand, Flutter contains Flutter SDK, which is a set of tools. Also, it acts as translator. With this, we can wrap our section. Hope you guys understood what Flutter is. Thank you. Thanks for watching and stay tuned to this channel. Please do subscribe for more interesting videos.